Welcome to Mimeo Monday. We did a post on Friday that was just kind of a box light semester check-in. After we had some teachers watch the video, I had some people reach out just for a refresher on how to import PDFs, PowerPoints, and different items into Mimeo Studio Notebook. So I just wanted to make a quick video to show you what that looks like and why they were wanting to do this. So currently I have Mimeo Studio Notebook open. There are a few different ways on bringing your files into Mimeo Studio Notebook. The first is simply by selecting the word file, choosing open, and then changing your file format to the file in which you are looking for. This sometimes is the frustrating part because you forget to change that file type. So if you are a person struggling to remember to change that file type in order to bring your files in, there's another way that is just drag and drop. So I simply am going to choose the files from my computer. So I have some PowerPoint files on here. I'm just going to open this folder. I'm going to find a PowerPoint and I'm simply going to drag it over to the Mimeo Studio Notebook and drop it. You will notice in the bottom of my Mimeo Studio Notebook down here, it says loading document. Depending upon the size of the document, it may take it a little bit to load up. So we are going to patiently wait for a moment as it loads and then it's loaded. You will notice that my first slide is always blank. I can simply select that first slide and delete it and start where I start with my PowerPoint. Now I have all of my slides shown down here just as I would. So here's where it comes in. If I already have this in a PowerPoint, why am I choosing to bring it into Mimeo Studio Notebook instead? And that's a great question. If you are just presenting the material, don't do it. Don't spend your time converting these files because you're just presenting and it's already done in a presentation mode. If you want to make it more interactive, you will notice that now you have this toolbar. So maybe what I want to do is take a shape and cover this up. Whoops, I'm just showing an outline. So what I'm going to do is select this shape. Let's go ahead and select it. I'm going to choose here and I'm going to give it a fill color. Now I have a shape drawn on here. So now when I switch to the next slide, what is an e ecosystem? Maybe I want the students answering this before I give them the answer. Now I can slowly reveal the answer. I can slowly bring down each bullet point. Maybe what I want to do is in between here, just create a blank slide and have students come up and utilize this pen tool and write what they think it's going to be about as some sort of prediction. And then when we move to the second slide, now we're able to reveal it. So what we've done is gone from a presentation tool to something that's more interactive. So when we're asking the why would I do that, that's the purpose of this particular activity. So really quick, let's rewind, because what was asked first was, can you please refresh how I am able to open these items easily in Mimeo Studio Notebook? So what we're going to do is come over here and we're going to create a new blank one. We have a new blank document. So again, there are a couple different ways to bring in our files. Remember the first is file open change your file format to be able to easily bring in. This way it's only showing you those files. 
The second way is to drag and drop. So what I'm going to do is have my files open. This file is a PDF. So remember we said you can bring in different file types. What I'm going to do is drag over my file type. I see that it says copy. As soon as it says copy, I'm going to release. And then I will notice in the bottom left hand corner that it says loading document. My document loads up. Now what I'm able to do is again, delete that first page. I can change my document. I can draw shapes over the top. Remember, if I want to cover this up, maybe it's too overwhelming. Here's something really nice. I just did this square. I can easily duplicate and clone this. I can copy and paste this, whatever you are comfortable with. So all I can do is now I'm covering all these up. Whoops, I pulled the wrong one. There we go. Here, I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to cover these up so that they're not as overwhelming for the students. Now, once they have it complete, they can just drag these boxes over to the sides, depending on what they are doing. So the idea of utilizing Mimeo Studio Notebook with PowerPoints or PDFs or different images is that you are making them a little bit more interactive.